Hi there. Welcome to Tuesday Talk. I feel like I owe you guys a really good Tuesday Talk. Since the last few weeks, I've had uh, struggles with my stuff. <laughs> I've tried a couple different things that didn't work out so well. So I'm really excited that tonight I'm doing something I'm real familiar with and we'll get good results tonight. Also last week, in the middle of the video, if you were watching, I apologize because I don't know what happened. Um, I got shut down. On my end, I saw a message that said something about copyright. And then later it showed up in my feed as inappropriate content. I wasn't playing any music and I certainly don't, you know, curse or anything. So I have no idea what, what happened. So anyway, we'll try and behave this week. <laughs> so I am showing you tonight doing transfers on glass. And I have one here that uh, is called Classic Vintage Labels. And they're really, really pretty. I already cracked this open because we had a class uh, last week and they used some of them and I'm still working on this container. So these are just beautiful. I think this is one that I want to use. Cafe and legumes. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll look at these in a minute because I painted some glass bottles and I want to make sure they're really good and dry before I try putting any transfers on them. Um, and I'll show you what came in the mail this week. So this is one of my favorite things. You know, I love stencils. Well, I like... JRV or Jamie Ray vintage stencils. You see that they're supposed to look like um, embroidery, like cross stitch embroidery. I can see this on dresser drawers and all kinds of treatments with it. There's three stencils in the set. And I love this one. This reminds me of like Fair Isle knitting so pretty so like i said i'm super excited to use these and i will say that jrv stencils are some of the best stencils i've ever used they're so thick and sturdy which is really good if you want to do raised stencils so i think we did that one night um, making signs and it's just great with these it's really easy to do that so i'm super excited to do that and then I got um, a little bit of wish stuff in the mail. So you know me and my molds. I really like this one. It looks like gems. You can see the different facets in there. I think that I could have some fun with this one with the clear cast epoxy. And you can tint that. You can put, you know, different things in it to tint it. So you could make it look like an emerald or an amethyst or whatever. I'm wondering if I could use a little drop of Dixie Bell paint in uh, with the easy cast, um, clear cast epoxy. So, you know what? Might as well give that a try, but not tonight. <laughs> um, and also, let me check my message because I just asked. Oh, good. Um... I just asked someone to be a special guest next week on Tuesday Talk, and she just said, sure, sounds good. So um, we're going to make some fake cakes. It's just Nikki, Nikki Sekovich, and she is a cake baker and artist extraordinaire, and she's going to join me, and we're going to, uh, she's going to show me how a baker would make cakes, and decorate cakes and I'm going to show her how I would use molds and and uh, decorate them that way because we're using um, boxes so it's going to be fun so be sure to tune in, tune in for that one okay and then this mold this one's kind of fun too the one that intrigued me was the little tag I thought that was cute 
but the glasses are really cute too. Also, I can see this as a, a necklace. That would be fun. So, I mean, this has a hole in it. It could be tags in our store as well as um, jewelry, I suppose. That would be a kind of a large earring, but I've worn bigger. <laughs> so anyway, um, this is actually kind of a little well-made mold. It's Some of them are kind of flimsy. This one feels really sturdy. Okay, and another mold. Everybody's making geode coasters right now. So I got a coaster mold to get on the bandwagon. Now, I don't know necessarily whether I'll make a geode or not. Um, geodes don't have perfectly round edges. So we'll see. Um, I might just simulate it with paint rather than pour all the different colors of epoxy in there. So that's something that maybe I'll try another time is doing uh, an epoxy pour. So um, I'm actually working in a kitchen today. Well, this right now, last couple of weeks I've been working there and probably into next week, which is probably why I look tired because I really worked hard today. Uh, painting, putting cabinet doors back on. Forgive me, I yawn. Um, but um, I shouldn't say that I'm tired. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, where was I going with that? I don't know. Getting some furniture delivered there tomorrow, so it's going to be another exciting day. But it's really a cool project. It's an 1800s kitchen, and it's really pretty cool. Okay, here's another thing. I think there's about 10 of these, but this is a wooden bezel. So you can put a design in here, you can decoupage something in, or could put a transfer or whatever, and then pour uh, the clear cast resin in. Or you could use amazing casting resin, um, the, the white, and then pour it in and then treat the top with a transfer or something, or paint. That might be interesting too. So um, those might be things we try in, in the future here as well. So, and don't forget, I have a pen mold now to try. That one makes me nervous. <laughs> okay, so let's get started with some transfers. So I am going to show you a bottle that I've had for years. I used to work at Pier 1 a long time ago. I love this bottle. Now I painted it today. It was more um, like a green glass, but I have been obsessed with this bottle for years. So had to have it. It was full of, um, oh, it had like uh, oil in it for, for cooking. And then it had like um, the different herbs and everything in there. But I always loved this bottle. So I'm going to put a transfer on there and then either do some dry brushing or some waxing or glazing or something um, to bring out the, the details in the bottle. Okay, and then there's a couple other little ones. This one's cute. I think this is a vintage bottle of some sort. It almost looks like some sort of syrup, but I, I really like the little Art Deco detail on the sides. And yes, I painted this one up too. Two coats. And then there's another little bottle, just a plain, simple bottle. Okay, so let's, um, I'm gonna go with the simple one first. And I cut out this transfer. I don't know French, but it, I, I guess it says Marseille, 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 Marseille. You probably, can read that and know. <laughs> but anyway, with a transfer, I cut it apart and I'm just going to peel the back away from the front. Okay. I'm going to put the, put the screen down. Whoops. Didn't mean to take you for a ride there. Sorry. 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 Okay. All right. So I'm going to lay the bottle down. 
throw my mess on the floor as usual. Oh boy, this might be a little too big. So pretty though, I'll tell you what, we'll just let it go off of the, off the bottle. So it's perfectly round, so there's no, no right or wrong here on this. So transfers come with a little stick. So I'm going to start with that. And this is um, good training for you when you use transfers on furniture, if you're using it in between drawers and stuff and, or around the edges. So we sell these transfers in our store. Um, these are redesigned by Prima. So all I'm doing is rubbing that down. And see, I'm getting this little piece up here that went over the edge. Just continuing to rub. I'm gonna make sure I get the word. I'll do, I'll do that even though it's on the bottom. That way it won't tear up the rest of the transfer when I peel, peel it. Oh, here's another little project from last week, the comb. It needs more something, something. It needs more metallic paint. But it does work. I ran it through my hair before I got live. I went live. Okay, we should be pretty good with this one. I know that part transferred. So then you just start peeling it up. And I always just kind of take the stick and just rub it as I peel. And if there's any part that doesn't stick, you just lay it back down and rub it some more. Okay. And then I just take my fingers and just rub over it a little bit just to make sure that it's um, burnished. Very pretty, very pretty. Okay. I like it. This would look so pretty in a bathroom with like a glass stopper in it. Oh, I'll have to go out and get the one I have on the counter. That'll look so pretty. And, you know, I have this one, this crystal that I did. <laughs> this is just sitting here. Um, I'm going to hold it in there, but that just gives you an idea. Uh, that would fall right in if I, <laughs> if I put that in there. But um, so you can use any kind of glass stopper on these little jars, and that would be so pretty. Okay, I cut another one out. Oh, these are just ones that I guess were just scraps here. There's a lot of French words that I don't know what they say. Cape Cod Cranberries, that's from New York. This is kind of cool. And almost anything would look fantastic on this big bottle. But I have one picked out that I just particularly like. Um, this one, I just like the roses on it. Let me see if it's too big. Put this down. Oh, I think that'll work perfectly. Okay, sold. So this is what a sheet of these looks like. They come, actually, there's three or four sheets of them, or three, I think. I like this one, too, the bees and queens. That's so cute. I think I might have to use this one on that bottle. I have to. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me see which side I want to put this on. Either one is good, I guess. All right. 
I'm excited about this because doing the three jars or three bottles, it'll be like a little collection. Okay, so there's a grid on here, which really is helpful for placing. Um, so I can see, I have a design on here, so I'm lining that middle line up with that and just kind of lining like halfway through the top. And then I can see on each side, there's a letter that's going over the edge. So I would say that's pretty uh, evenly spaced. So I'm just gonna start in the middle and work my way out. So we're doing this on glass. You can do this on mirrors, on windows, There, um, I did a, I taped a segment for the new show that's on Fox 8 and 23 around the Alleghenies. I believe mine's going to be on on the 27th, I think she said. If that's a Tuesday, let me look. Um, that's a Thursday. Hmm. Okay, I'll have to check that. Uh, but I talked about mirrors and how to make mirrors out of old windows and um, just glass pieces. But we didn't talk about transfers. Um, I did show one that had a big transfer on it, but um, so I guess we did talk about it, but I didn't show demonstrate transfers on there. So you are special. You're getting the demonstration. When I have um, advanced techniques painting classes, this is one of the things we cover is transfers and molds, stenciling, and um, even some hand painting. The color that I used on these bottles is drop cloth, Dixie Bell's drop cloth. I love this color. I know it's a white, so I'm calling it a color, but it's just, it's just a beautiful neutral. And I think it looks so pretty with these designs. So two of my favorite things here is this bottle drop cloth and this transfer. So I guess that's three, right? <laughs> no wonder they shut me down last week. I can't add, I can't. And speaking of transfers, oh my heavens, I still haven't mastered the water slide transfer. Oh my gosh. That was a hot mess and a half. I will try it again though. Definitely will try it again. Another exciting thing, I think I mentioned this last week, is you know, we're getting ready to take over the whole store at my location, and I have to do a sign. And of course, I can't just get someone to make a sign for me. I have to have to do it myself. With help, of course. So that's gonna be happening soon. All right, oh my gosh, I love this. Is that not pretty? Oh, I love it. You see? Okay, put this back up. I love it so much I could do the other side. So we have this one and this one. These are so pretty. What do you think, guys? Feel free to comment. Oh, I just love that one. I knew I loved this one for this because we've got the swirly lines. You know, we have the, I don't know whether you can see it or not. There we go. The, this design down here. And then in here was that. And of course the roses are gorgeous. So, and as they are on this one. All right, one bottle to go. 
And I even thought, you know, the flower part pots that I've been trying to do something with, we can put some on those too. All right. Um, yeah, I want to grab the one that says about, has again roses on it, and it says uh, telephone number 216. <laughs> I think that'll work on here. It'll have to wrap around, but I'll put this back down. I love that bees and queens. Oh my gosh, not enough bottles or jars. You know, lots of times when I make stuff on Tuesday Talk, I end up selling it in the shop or um, on Etsy. And I don't know about these. I have um, Twall in my bathroom. This collection might just end up in my bathroom. Oh, I like that one, too. Isn't that cool? You can use these on so many things. Furniture, of course. All right. I'm going to lay this down. I'm going to put it a little towards me so I can just get it centered at first. Okay, I'm going to peel it off. Hey, here goes. The uh, girls that were at the class the other night, they were teenagers, and they made some beautiful things. We used the yogurt cups, you know, the famous yogurt cups that I have all the time, these. <laughs> and I had them paint them with some neutral colors, like kind of like, um, you know, Greek urns, kind of like a just a pottery kind of look. And then they used a combination of these and molds. And I'll tell you what, they made some beautiful, beautiful little pots. They did sets of three. I think they were pretty happy. It's good to get your creative juices flowing. And something like this, it's pretty user friendly. So even if you don't feel like you're very creative, this is kind of a no fail. This is why I selected this after my three weeks or four weeks streak of failures. I don't know how long it's been, but <laughs> it seems like that long. But you know what? You got to try stuff. And I try it live here with you. So. I know you forgive me for my failures. <laughs> Just want to make sure you get it on there good. All right, let's see. When you paint a surface, you want to make sure it's really dry before you try to apply a transfer because it just won't work. Seems like everything's pretty much on except this one area.
Ah. Okay. Oh, I love this. I really love the um, little, like I said, the design in the side there. So pretty, and that Art Deco style design over there is so pretty. I think that, let me see, my gilding wax that I have sitting here, I have green patina, I have Anastasia. I don't think I want to do that. I think I want to stay kind of neutral, and I think I would use a gray wax, which I do not have here. But I think they're lovely just the way they are. But um, I think just highlighting these these uh, areas in the in the glass that are unique is a good idea. Um, just put them out here for a whole collection, and you can just enjoy them a second can look at them. I'm going to run and pick something up off my counter because I had these. I had this bottle stopper in, in one of these jars on the windowsill. So see how pretty it looks now. So yeah, I think crystal will look really nice in there. Okay, well that was fun. Now, um, let's do a few more of them just on these pots that I have here. So I can quit, uh, quit moving them around. And I still, I don't know whether anybody looked it up or figured it out. I forgot to look it up or I mean to see what a cone pot is all about, what they're for. You can see on there, or maybe you can't, but a slight image from the water slide transfers that I tried last week. So it sort of kind of worked, but not really well. Oh, I forgot. Here's something else. There's another stencil that I got this week from Wish. It's a sunflower. And I did a whole sunflower dresser. If I'd have had this, I might have added that to the mix because I use transfers and molds. But I really like it. It's really a pretty one. I can see this on fabric, on dish towels and stuff like that. I like that. Put that with the stencils. Okay. So let's find some more transfers. I'm gonna look for some small ones because these pots are really small. Oh, they're so pretty. Okay, I'm wondering if that the Paris Cafe could be wrapped around there because these are really probably too big. Um, okay, one of these might work. Let me try that one. Let me try the Flora since it's a flower pot. I love this one. Isn't that beautiful? The birds, so pretty. All right, this still might be kind of big for this, but we'll see if it wraps around there. Before I take the backing off, I'll see if it wraps around. Mm. Not, not real well. We'll, we'll uh, see what we can do with it here. So I'm just going to have to be careful with it. So I'll try to do a 
Well, it just kind of grabbed on there. So here we go. <laughs> this might work. So when you get a bubble like that, you can hear that cracking. That's actually a really good thing because that means there's air in there and it'll just kind of, you just kind of ride that wave <laughs> and it'll just transfer. Because when you see the gray areas like that, that's, those are areas where it's transferred. I can't tell what you can see or not because um, this, when the screen's down, I can't see that well. So, um, you know, I have to have a thousand subscribers before I can do lives with my phone or with a, a camera or something like that that isn't my computer. So, you can help me out with that by sharing videos, um, commenting, all that good stuff. I'm up to 281, so I'm pretty excited about that. Long way to go, but we're more than a quarter of the way then, right? And I'm still working on this other project that is so exciting that I can't tell you about. But as soon as I can, believe me, I will. All right, I'm going to start over here and just pull gently. Actually looks really pretty. Let me just burnish it a little bit. Wow, I thought it was kind of overpowering for this little pot, but I think it really looks pretty. Turned out good. All right, then that means I have to do the bee and queen because it was about the same size as this one. So we'll make that one, we'll make that one work too. All okay, right, that was on another sheet. There it is. Okay. Cut it apart here. the screen down here and let's see we'll do this green now I hope it's not oh boy you know what I'm gonna cut off the bees and queens words and just use the image So I have the handy lines up at the top. Oh boy. <laughs> Again, it just kind of grabbed on there. So it looks relatively lined up. Guess you can't line a straight line across a curved top anyway. So, okay, so here's that bubble in there and see how it's pulling the transfer off. Very good thing. So do you think you guys see yourself doing this, using transfers? Maybe you already have. 
feel free to let me know in the comments what you think and if it's something that you would do. By the way, this um, whole um, canister of, of all of these designs costs $28. It's well worth it, I think, because if you use it for, say, gifts, you get a lot. You know, you can get these little terracotta pots in different sizes, paint them and do that. I think that would be a really lovely gift. Or just use, my gosh, spaghetti sauce jars or um, whatever you have. All right, let's see how we did. I am so making up for the last couple weeks tonight. Look how pretty that is. That one's just perfect. Oh my gosh, I love it. So I can go on the back here and do this bees and queens. Let's do it. And again, it's hard to keep That's straight because it's on that curve. I hope I spaced that. Ooh, not really. Let me see if it really stuck. Oh yeah. Okay, too late. When that happens, it's too late. Oh boy. <laughs> I spoke too soon, didn't I? I'm trying to curve this so the words are straight. I messed it up a little bit. So you know what you do when you mess up a transfer? You get the sandpaper out and just rough it up a little bit because it'll look like it's distressed. You don't remove the whole thing. I'm not suggesting you remove the whole thing. Um, just rough it up and that'll take um, some of that off. Because here's, here's what this looks like. As you can see, it's not perfect. Um, just looking to see if I have a little sandpaper or an emery board here. Yeah, I have one in the other room. There's one. I often use um, an emery board for sandpaper. Okay, so I'm just going to rough this up. Then it looks a little distressed. Like it's naturally aged and you can't really tell then that it's messed up. How about that? Okay, well this part is definitely awesome.
I love them. I think they're really pretty. This is, this is a cute little set. So, trying to think if we covered everything tonight. Let's see, we've been on 40 minutes and 25 seconds. So, um, because I've had a long day and I'm tired and YouTube didn't shut me down tonight, so that's cool. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed hanging out. And don't forget, next week we'll have a special guest. And that'll be fun. And also, on Saturday is part two of the dresser into a bench transformation. That really turned out pretty cool. And even the, the part with the painting. Very cool. I used to transfer on it, too. So um, it's very bohemian. And it's just really, really a cool piece. All right. Well, again, I hope you have a wonderful night. And... Thank you so much for tuning in and you take care. Good night.